Okay, guys, and that's basically how you sync contacts with the PC with a, using an iPhone or an iPod Touch. Just follow those easy steps, and you'll be able to talk a customer through any call you want. Um, now, Windows 7 is going to be a little bit different than Windows Vista or Windows XP. Windows XP, you're going to find the contacts under your Outlook Express, under Tools and Address Books. On a Windows Vista machine, you're going to go to your Start menu and look for a program called Windows Mail. After Under Windows Mail, you're, again, you're going to go to Tools and go to Address Book or Windows Contacts and be able to see your contacts there as well. So that's how you can kind of verify that the customer's contacts did, in fact, get synced. Now remember, sometimes the iTunes will prompt you to either merge data or replace data. Make sure you always merge the data. So again, here is the iPod Touch. It does have a few different apps on it, so we are going to be able to transfer some of these apps. Now if we're looking at iTunes, there's a couple of ways we're going to do this. So we're going to start at the music library. So the easiest way for most people is if they go up to File, and under File, you'll actually see an option that says Transfer Purchases from iPod or from iPhone. You'll actually see it there. If you click that, that'll start transferring the purchases. Another way to do it is if you go under the device name, you click on the name of the device, and then you right click on it. If you right click on the name of the device, you're going to get an option that says Transfer Purchases. And you just click that and that'll transfer the purchases. There is one other small way. If you don't go like this, if you come down under the iPod, this will tell you all the purchases made on the iPod. So this is a good way to tell you whether or not how it's been purchased. This has been purchased on my account. This has been purchased on a different account. Where these purchases have been made. So if a customer has multiple purchases on their device this will tell you this is purchased on my iPhone this has been purchased on the iPod so then you can tell if you have multiple apps syncing so let's go ahead and transfer purchases we'll go to the file method so you go up to file transfer purchases and it's going to give you okay we need to authorize this computer so let's go ahead and authorize it now this is a different email as you can see so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the password And basically what it's going to do is it's going to start transferring purchases over for my icon. I couldn't remember my dad's password and what he purchases. But what it is purchasing is transferring any purchases that are from the account that's currently logged into the iTunes store. Again, the customer will need to know what their password is to transfer those purchases. Unfortunately for me, I couldn't remember what that password was. But it's going to go ahead and copy these purchases over. We'll go ahead and stop this for now. Okay, the uh, the purchases are almost done. It is going to give you the warning that some of the uh, purchase items cannot be transferred because you're not authorized. So if anything were any purchases were, were transferred on the other account, it's going to give them a warning saying, "Oh, they can be transferred because of this because they're not authorized." It does give you an, a warning. So if you click on this little link, it's actually going to tell you. Which per which purchases it couldn't transfer over and why? So then just hit OK. All that will finish. Then what you want to do is you just want to go back into your library and double check. So right now you have apps, and this is where you would see all your apps. So this is where you would verify that the purchase is transferred. Other than that, you should be good to go. Thanks, guys.